Welcome to another journey on fermenting vegetables. This time it's going to be one of my favourite beetroot. Well, I'm going to attempt prepping this beetroot using this little device. I was asked the other day, what's the difference between pickling and fermentation? Well, the difference between the two, despite the overlap, is the pickling involved putting the food into an acid brine like vinegar to reduce a sour flavour, whereas the fermentation gives food a sour flavour without any added acid, as it, i.e. the vinegar. Well, it looks like it's, it's worked. Wow. People took the meaty out of this little device. But it's amazing. Especially with, obviously now, beetroot and then potatoes. It's crap at uh, doing uh, carrots. Right, catch it. Is fermented beetroot healthy? Fermenting pickled beetroot is rich in healthy bacteria called probiotics, which improves the digestive digestive system by making it easy for the body to break down foods and absorb their nutrients. Probiotics also protects against toxics and harmful bacteria. There is a formula on the net for how much salt needed. It is weight of the food shared by 0 0.025 equals the salt and it, this case was 18 grams. As you can see, I've uh, put in, in each one, peppercorns and a bay leaf, and that's all. Well, girls and girls, here's a finished product. The hardest part, apart from getting the uh, beetroot all in the fingers, was actually making out the salt to the water brine. There is a formula on the net because I struggled with numbers. Yeah. I used 18 grams on the small one of salt and it was pink salt and 50 grams on the big one. 
you may be able to see I've put a you know, kind of peppercorns and oh, what's it called? <clears throat> bay leaf. And what I'll do now, because it started, I'll burp, burp both tomorrow to get, expel the gases by the fermentation process. I hope make, that makes sense and I'll catch you all later. Well good morning everybody, it's next day and I hope you'll be able to see both of them as small bubbles coming up and especially at the top. It's a bit cloudy and I'm going to burp this. go guys obviously I need to get the the fermentation weights I've ordered to get the the bay leaf and the peppercorns submerged so there's not any more coming there you go There you go, day one, thanks for watching.